ash-covered roads, cars and buildings near the volcano in the northeast of the island on Sunday, while scores of flights were cancelled and overnight a red glow of what appeared to be magma could be seen in photographs by Atara, the state news agency. The activity of Mount Agug has entered the magmatic eruption phase. It is still spewing ash at the moment but we need to monitor and be cautious over the possibility of a strong, explosive eruption, said Jesper Kaiser, an official at the Volcanology and Geological Disaster Mitigation Agency. The bug rises majestically over eastern Bali at a height of just over 3,000 meters. When it last erupted in 1963 it killed more than 1,000 people and raised several villages. Australia's Bureau of Meteorology's Volcanic Ash Advisory Centre, back in Darwin issued maps showing an ash cloud heading southeast over the neighbouring island of Lombok, away from Ballas capital, then Passat, where the main international airport is located. Indonesia also upgraded its volcano observatory notice for aviation, Kona, to red, its highest warning, and said the ash cloud top could reach 6142 metres or higher. However, officials said the airport would remain open for now if the ash could be avoided. All domestic flights and the airport itself were operating as normal and tests for ash had been negative, it said. After resuming flights on Sunday morning, Virgin Australia again cancelled flights on Sunday afternoon following a change in the aviation colour code from orange to red. AirAsia also cancelled its remaining flights to Bali and Lombok. Qantas and Jetstar flights were continuing as of Sunday afternoon but Jetstar warned on its website that flights would be subject to change at short notice for safety reasons. Indonesia's flag carrier said it was cancelling all flights for and for Lombok, which was closed.